بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين حبيبنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد فقد قال الله تعالى في القرآن المجيد والفرقان الحميد تعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا ادخلوا في السلم ادخلوا في السلم كافة ولا تتبعوا خطوات الشيطان إنه لكم عدو مبين صدق الله العظيم Beloved viewers السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addresses the believers and follow the translation and see how pointedly he is looking at us and telling us what we should really be. He says, Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu, O those who have faith, O those who say and proclaim that they have faith, Udkhulu fi silmi kaffah. Enter into the way of life, Islam, totally, wholly, fully, unreservedly. Speaking to these believers, they must enter Islam. وَلَا تَتَّبِعُوا خُطُوَاتِ الشَّيْطَانِ And don't follow the footsteps of the devil. إِنَّهُ لَكُمْ عَدُوٌ مُبِينٌ Most certainly, he is an open enemy to all of you. Now when we reflect and we see ourselves and we find and there is boast around us also that we are very good Muslims. We pray five times a day. We fast and we go for Hajj and we do so many things. Allah Iqbal says, when he looks at us, he concurs with the Quranic verse. And he says, Namaz o roza qurbani o hajj. Namaz o roza qurbani o hajj. Ye sab baqi hai, tu baqi nahi hai. Yes. Prayer, fasting, your sacrifice, your animal sacrifice, and your pilgrimage to, for hajj. All these are there. You can see them. But you are not there. These have become, he believes, empty rituals. And he has written so often this. He says, Me jo sarba sajda hua kabhi To zami se aane lagi sada Tera dil to hai sanamashna Tujhe kya milega namaz mein when I went into prostration to sajda, then the earth began to squeal and began to shriek and say, Tera dil to hai sanamashna. Look at your heart. It is full of idols. Tujhe kya milega namaz mein? What will you get out of salat, out of your namaz? Yes, your heart is full of all the worldly things you have not really surrendered in the real manner where you believe when you are in sajda, you are, you are dust and nothingness before his might and his glory and he is the highest and you are at the lowest physically. Subhan Rabbi al-A'la. Glory be to my Lord in the highest. So namaz is there and we see people and we do not grudge anyone who makes namaz. He's good and they are praised. That's a namazi. He doesn't miss his namaz and so on. But namaz is not the end all of everything. It is the launching pad for you to do good. And it is outside what you do 
which is most important. Because the Quran itself says, فَوَيْلُلْ لِلْمُصَلِّينَ And curse to those who are musallis, those who keep up their salat. الَّذِينَ هُمْ عَنْ صَلَاتِهِمْ سَاهُونَ Who are unmindful of the import of their prayer. الَّذِينَ هُمْ يُرَاؤُونَ Who make a show of the prayer. وَيَمْنَعُونَ الْمَعُونَ But when it comes to petty kindness, they not only themselves do not act according to the law of Islam to help others, but they in a snide fashion tell others, why are you giving so much charity? Why do you do this and why do you do that? So Allah knows all about these people who make show. And Allah Iqbal tells us, like for instance, right nowadays I'm around, alhamdulillah, at quite a number of masjids for different prayers. But one of my Middle Eastern friends was telling me about the third and fourth rakah. He says he can take the first two quite easily, but the third and fourth, Surah Al-Fatiha is supposed to be read. And it is read silently. And people of the Shafi persuasion and other persuasion, they read it aloud. They read it silently. But he says before he has come to Ihdina Sirat Al-Mustaqim, the Imam says, Allahu Akbar. So he says, what is wrong with him? Doesn't he at least know the meaning of Surah Al-Fatiha? So that at least he's a bit slow. So Allah Iqbal, he knows that there are some people who are plain mercenaries at the Musalla. Tehran Imam, Be Huzur, Teri Namaz, Be Surur, Ese Imam Se Guzar, Ese Namaz Se Guzar. He says, your Imam is not attendant at the prayer, though he's standing there. He doesn't even know the meaning of Surah Al-Fatiha. Teri Namaz, Be Surur. And you are restless in your prayer. Some of my friends, they hardly read the Surah Al-Fatiha and they have to go into Ruku. Some of them are still standing and some of them are still standing when you rise from the Ruku. Ese, Tehran Imam, Be Huzur, Teri Namaz, Be Surur. Ese Imam se Guzar, Ese Namaz se Guzar. Move away from such an Imam and move away from such a Salat. So at least those who are mercenaries and get paid, I think that they should take a little bit of time, know at least the meaning of Surah Al-Fatiha. It's a shame that we do not know the meaning of the whole Salat, most of us, and nobody insists on it. Nobody insists on it. And we keep on building mosques. Masjid to banadi shabbar mein ima ki hararat walo ne man apna purana paapi hai barso mein namazi banna saka. We have made this mosque overnight. Beautiful, marble stone mosque. And what do we see in the mosque? There are mosques. Come Zohar time. Come Asr time to some of the massages in Johannesburg and see how empty they are. Barso me namazi banna saka. Because the heart is not linked to the mosque and it is corrupt. So you does, he, he doesn't become a namazi. The mosques are empty, empty, empty. So this is what is happening. And what he tells us, that look at these beautiful buildings of yours made out of marble stone and the best type of furniture and furnishing. He says, Me na khusho bezar hu mar mar ke silon se mere liye mitti ka haram aur bana do. I'm fed up and I cannot tolerate seeing these wonderful, big, beautiful mosques made out of marble stone and other expensive expensive items. Why don't you take a lesson from the Kaaba, the Haram? Take away the Ghilaf and it is made out of limestone. Why don't you take an example from the house of all houses and make your masjid out of limestone? So this is what he squeals about because Muslims have to get in their hearts and minds have to get in. And fasting, fasting has become a type of a ritual. Nowadays, inshallah, it's going to be so easy within so many hours before you get up and before you yawn, the day is over. And it is an easy exercise, really, unless we are really engrossed in the true meaning of fasting, whether, whether we know the true meaning, because it's very, very easy. And so many people, we see, that there are a number of people that they think that fasting is a burden. But yet it is there. 
but is the real, real meaning of fasting in our hearts and souls so that when we eat the best, do we think about the others? Do we think about the unity of mankind that it brings about? You may have eaten the best. Somebody may have just had barley bread and water and, and he fasts and you fast. During the day, your pangs and your thirst are the same as the others. Allah shows us the unity that we are all united, not only that we are ordinary human beings, but our wants are the same and he is the most wanted. So this is what is needed as far as our fasting is concerned. Qurbani, we make qurbani and we slaughter. Yes, alhamdulillah, but who is that supposed to reach? Yes, one third for the ourselves, one third for the poor, and as someone says, one third for bribe. Yes, no, it's supposed to go to those who deserve it. So therefore, namaz or roza, qurbani or hajj, you have to go to hajj and come back and reach. Zairane, kaaba se, iqbal ye, puche koi, kya haram ka tohfa, zamzam ke siwa, kuch bhi nahi. Ask all those who have come from Kaaba. Did Makkah didn't give them, the Hajj didn't give them anything more than the zamzam they have brought? Hasn't it really enriched them and made them useful units of entire humanity and entire creation? So this is what is most important. So just these few words of Iqbal are supposed to bring home to us our own importance and our responsibilities before Allah and before his creation. وصلى الله على النبي الكريم والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وفي العز للعبد الذليل تبلغ بالقليل من القليل أو بالقليل من القليل وأي السادة للسفر الطويل وأي السادة للسفر الطويل وفي عصيانه عار ونار وفي عصيانه عار ونار وفي البعد ماخذ وبيل